District Financial Lead The purpose of the District Financial Lead is to maintain and monitor the financial transactions of the District Bank account and to ensure current and accurate financial records and financial reports are kept. Overview You have joined the ranks of a select few volunteers who are helping Special Books Ontario focus on and support the administrative volunteers in the organization. First things first. All treasurers and signing officers have a fiduciary responsibility to Special Books Ontario. They must act responsibly for the funds that have been raised. All monies raised using the Special Mix Ontario name belong to the organization and are in trust to the treasurer and signing officers. These volunteers are responsible for ensuring that the funds are being sent responsibly. If you have any questions about your fiduciary responsibility, please contact your district developer or a member of the finance staff. Becoming a Signing Officer To become a Signing Officer, you must be a registered volunteer in good standing with Special Mix Ontario. You must complete the Bank Enrollment slash Update form, plus a copy of the Signature Card, and mail them to the Special Mix Ontario Provincial Office at 65 Overly Boulevard, Suite 200, in Toronto, M4H1P1. Please do not take this form to your local Royal Bank branch. Be sure to include the District Administrative Lead and District Secretary as signing officers on the signature card. Finally, SOO's Financial Department will provide you with the account number of the district account along with the current balance information and any historical records you may need. Maintaining District Bank Accounts Bookkeeping there is no preset accounting software required to prepare a simple set of books for your account. A simple spreadsheet or journal is sufficient. Excel or Lotus can be used with the following headings. For receipts, date, received from, amount received. For expenses, date, check number, payee name, check amount, HST, AMT, and description. Reporting. The treasurer must prepare a quarterly report summarizing account activity four times a year. This can be done in the form of a balance sheet and income statement or a simple revenue and expense summary. The treasurer must be prepared to present this report to the DAT and at the district meetings and all reports must be forwarded to the district developer. Acceptable expenses. Expenses incurred by members of the district administrative team as they carry out the responsibilities of their position are reimbursable. Please note that only expenses that are indicated on an expense form and submitted to the district financial lead will be paid. All receipts should be kept and submitted. General expenses, as listed in the next slide, are covered. However, there are occasions when there is an out-of-the-ordinary expense. If the expense is not covered in the list on the following slide, it must be presented to the DAT and accepted before the expense is incurred in order for it to be reimbursed. General Expenses The following is a list of general expenses that are acceptable to claim for reimbursement. Mileage to district meetings or events, long distance phone calls, printing or photocopying costs, postage, envelopes, and paper costs, costs incurred in the preparation for district meetings, a copy of the expense form is available under the form section of the Special Mix Ontario website. Checks and transfers. The treasurer will be responsible for keeping sufficient funds in the account prior to issuing checks for payment. Bank charges for issuing NSF checks apply. A supply of checks will be provided by the bank once the account is set up. To reorder checks, simply call the Special Mix Ontario office and provide your account number, name of account, last check number, and quantity of checks to be ordered. A minimal cost will be charged by Royal Bank to your account. 
As Special Mix Ontario utilizes a central banking system, it is possible to electronically transfer funds between accounts. All deposits will show up as a transfer on your community bank statement, and the provincial office will also utilize transfers for any provincial or national fundraising campaign. It is also possible to request to have funds from your district account transferred to a community account or the provincial account if needed. It is preferred that you issue a check, but if this is not possible due to an unforeseeable circumstance, please contact the financial department to arrange for a transfer to be made instead. Deposits An initial supply of transaction and deposit records plus pre-printed deposit envelopes should accompany your authorization letter. Additional supplies can be requested free of charge from the Special Mix Ontario office. All deposits have to be mailed to the SOO office. The Special Mix Ontario office will deposit them in the bank and transfer the funds to your account within seven business days of receipt. Complete the transaction and deposit record by filling out your account information. Attach all checks to the top copy and keep the carbon copy for your records. Place the checks and the top copy of the transaction and deposit record inside the deposit envelope and send them to the provincial office. For donations received, please fill in the full name of the donor and the complete address with postal code. Fill in the donation amount and write yes in the box for tax receipt. Tax receipts can be issued for donations of $20 or more. Please note that registration fees are not eligible for tax receipt. If you have collected deposits that do not require tax receipts, you do not have to itemize each check. Instead, just fill in the total lump sum portion. Any cash that needs to be deposited should be replaced by a money order or check. Cost incurred for money orders or bank drafts can be reimbursed by indicating the amount on the forms and attaching the receipt. Please do not hold checks to be deposited for a long period of time. Checks become stale and would not be able to be cashed and would bounce back from the bank. If you wish to accumulate deposits, please hold deposits for no more than 30 days. You should receive a monthly statement from Royal Bank regarding your account. Please reconcile your account by comparing the transaction and deposit copies against the credit transferred to your account. Payment The Treasurer will be responsible for keeping sufficient funds in the account prior to issuing checks for payments. Bank charges for issuing NSF checks apply. A supply of checks will be provided by the bank once the account is set up. To reorder checks, simply call Special Mix Ontario and provide your account number, name of account, last check number and quantity of checks to be ordered. A minimal cost will be charged by Royal Bank to your account. Checks should always be issued to the direct supplier when possible. If a volunteer has incurred an expense out of their own pocket, they must submit an expense form along with the original receipt before they can be reimbursed. Please see section 2.1.5 for more information regarding expenses on the information portal. It is your responsibility as the district financial lead to ensure that all bills are paid on time. Any late charges or interest that is accrued by the district will need to be paid out of the district account. District meetings. Participate in district administrative team pre-DM meetings. Prepare financial reports to present at the district meeting. Photocopy enough copies of the expense submission report. And prepare any invoices that need to be handled out to the communities. What to bring to the meeting. Financial reports. Expense submission reports. The most up-to-date copy of all financial guidelines and policies. Checkbook and ledgers. And any other information to share with the district volunteers. What to do at the meeting. Present the financial report. Distribute expense submission reports as needed. Write mileage checks as needed. Act as a resource for any volunteer that is attending the meeting. 
act as a mentor. As the financial lead in the district, you may be asked to act as a mentor to other treasurers in the district. With your background and experience, it would be great if you could contribute some tips and tricks to the financial forum and provide treasurers with templates and spreadsheets that they can use. Treasurers in the district may use you as a source of training and information. Creating the district budget. Each year, the DFL is responsible for submitting the operating budget to the district developer and Special Mix Ontario's financial department. These budgets should be submitted by the first quarter of the year. Funds for the approved budget will be transferred into the district account from Special Mix Ontario. Approved budget items could include volunteer mileage to district meetings and workshops, DAT postage, DAT long distance, snacks for district meetings and workshops, DAT photocopying, and DAT paper and ink. Overseeing the district team's finances. One of your jobs is to work with the district team manager to ensure that all payments relative to your district team attending the games have been collected and invoices are paid. These payments include the $50 games registration fee to be paid for all athletes attending the games and the uniform fees that are determined based on the cost of your uniform quote. Every community has different policies around whether they do or do not cover either of these costs for the athletes or coaches attending from their community. Some communities have policies that state that athletes pay a certain percentage or up to a fixed dollar amount for these expenses. It is not up to you to know what community covers what. All you need to do is send each community an invoice for the amount owing from their constituents. Copies of the invoice should be sent to all community treasurers and community coordinators. All registration payments must be received before an athlete can compete at the games and all uniform payments must be received before the uniforms can be handed out. Here is a sample invoice. Assist with key volunteer recruitment. Occasionally, members of the DAT will be asked to assist with the recruitment of specific volunteer positions. This can include district team managers, provincial team liaisons, and the district administrative team. You may be asked to act as a member of the selection committee, tender suggestions regarding the recruitment and selection process, or assist with the distribution of applications and recruitment communications. Working with Special Mix Ontario staff. You will work closely with your district developer and Special Mix Ontario's financial department to fulfill all of the duties that have been outlined in this course. The DD is your main point of contact with Special Mix Ontario and will be able to provide you with further training and help throughout your two-year term. Ongoing open communication is the key to the success of the district administrative team. As a district volunteer, you are expected to access your email frequently and to answer all communication in a timely manner. Please advise both the volunteers in the district and the DD if you will be unavailable for an extended period of time. This can include vacation, sickness, or personal commitment. We look forward to working with you and listening to your feedback regarding this course and your term as a district financial lead.